right, in this tutorial, we're going to be breaking down a solo that Brett Mason took over Working Man Blues. We've got the whole Working Man Blues lesson, the Merle Haggard version, up at SixTringCountry.com. That does the acoustic and the electric all the way through. Uh, this could be looked at as kind of a bolt-on to that or as a kind of standalone Brett Mason lesson, but this solo will actually work over the Merle Haggard version as well. Uh, so, you know, obviously Brett Mason, one of the best country pickers around. This is going to be uh, very much on the advanced side, uh, but we're going to go nice and slow. We'll look at everything note by note, and then at the end of the tutorial, we'll have a jam along video for you at a few different tempos. jump right in. This is all tabbed out at sixstringcountry.com, so pull those up. Uh, for tone, we've got a nice trebly country tone, bridge pickup. Um, just a little bit of overdrive. Ideally, if you had a tube amp, you could crank it to where it's just breaking up a little bit. If you can't play that loud, maybe just put a little overdrive on there, but not much. I've got just a little reverb and a little slapback delay. Um, so this is all over the 12 bar blues. It's an A blues. We're just following the 12 bar blues form. Um, so let's play the solo nice and slow. I'll demonstrate it nice and slow. Then we'll kind of dissect it note by note. Then at the end, uh, we'll give you that jam along video at a number of different speeds as you're working the tempo up. All right, so here we go. Here it is nice and slow. One and two and three and four and one. Alright, you're going to see me using a combination of my pick and clucking with my middle and my fourth finger on my right hand. Alright, uh, Brett Mason uses a thumb pick, uh, which I've never gotten used to. It's not a style that, that I've um, done much, so I, I, I've always just played this style of music like this with my pick and my fingers. Um, but the right hand, you know, this is an advanced lesson, so take some liberties. The right hand, you, I've tried to lay it out in a way that feels good and is going to flow nicely uh, for both of our hands. Uh, but if something else feels better for you than what I'm doing, uh, feel free to take that liberty. Okay? Also, Brett Mason uses a beat bender, and so you see him um, pushing his guitar neck down a little bit, which mechanically bends that B string, uh, which I don't have on this guitar, and I know a lot of uh, you out there don't have either, so we're going to learn it as close as we can without the B-Bender. All right, enough disclaimers. Here's riff one. It comes in on the end, uh, or just after the downbeat of this first measure. So one, two, and three, and four, and go. All right, so let's learn just that much. Um, we're going to be... This is soloing over an A7 chord, right? So we're going to be in A blues. Another way of thinking of that is A minor. That's also, you know, position five box in the key of C. So we could think of position one box in the key of C here. So it's right in that uh, position one key of C box for A blues. All right, so we're going to slide in from eight to 10 on the B string. And then we're going to cluck that eighth fret of high E, back to the B string, 10 to 8, ninth fret of G, 8 to 10 on B, uh, E string, 8 to 10, we're going to do this whole run here. Alright, so we just got done from the top, 
Then back to the high E string, eight, hammer on to 10, a bend, come back down, hammer off, or pull off to the eighth fret, over to the B string, and then roll it back to the 10th fret of high E, pull it off again over to 10th fret of B, eighth fret again of high E, and then 10th fret of B, pull off to eight, and then ninth fret, eighth fret, all right, let's look at that riff, what we just learned so far one more time, and then keep going. So, so far we've got this. One. Continuing on. Let's get just that much, all right? So we got done with that first part. One. Now we're going to switch our finger positions and go ring finger, slide into 9, cluck the 8th fret of B, then a quick. So that's on the 9th fret, down to 7th, pull off to 5, and over to the 7th fret of D. And now we're going to roll that back to the 7th fret of G and B, back to the 7th fret of D. Now 5th fret of G and B, hammer on the 6th of G, and then 7, 5 of a, uh, D. Then the A string, 7th fret, to 5th fret of D, 7, 5 on A, and that's quicker. And we're going to end on the 8th fret of low E there. So, so far, whole thing so far, 1. Alright, continuing on. get just that much all right so we were here then we're gonna go we're in this box now right so we're on the eighth fret of low E uh, to the D string or sorry a string five six seven five seven of D five seven of G bend it then cluck the B string fifth fret E string fifth fret back to B string and then the eighth fret of high E and that's um, the end of that riff. So, so far, one. All right, continuing on. All right, and then we're into uh, the D chord. So that's going to get us through all of the A chords. So by the way, anytime you're playing A blues, this all of this is great, um, great riff work to put into the kind of mental toolbox that we have or the toolkit that we can pull out uh, when we need to play some A blues, right? All right, so let's pick it up here. So we just got done. Now we're gonna go cluck on the fifth fret of high E, eighth fret of B, and then uh, seventh fret of G, bend. 5th fret of B, cluck, and then reach with your middle finger here, 5th fret um, of the G string with a half bend, then we'll do this walk down, 7, 5, and then pinky finger up here on the top, right, 7, 5, A string, 7, 6, 5, slide it down to 3, that's going to set you up to be in the right position for this next part, uh, then over the D string, 4, 3, 2, all right, so let's do that whole thing one more time. One. All right, now we start the D measure and we'll do this. So let's take it right on that D measure. Um, so we're on the second fret of the D string, and then three to five on A, three to five again. Now we're going to slide into the fourth fret of D, and we'll do some double stops, and then third fret of B, just walk it down, and back up to four three, and then get on a D seven chord here, two one two, and we're just going to pick through it. So um, we're going to go pick cluck. Cluck, pick, cluck, cluck, pick, cluck, cluck, pick. 
and then slide up, you can think of it as an A7. But we're not going to play the whole thing, we're just sliding up to the 9th fret of G. And then complete the double stop up here with a cluck on the 9th fret of high E. Alright, so that whole thing one more time. Continuing on, we've got this. All right, let's get that much. All right, so we just slid into the ninth fret of the G string. And then we're gonna cluck the high E string ninth fret, then eighth fret of B. Pre-bend that seventh fret of G, come down, pull it off to six, back up to seven and then cluck the 5th fret of G and B at the same time. Hammer on to 6, and then 7th fret of the D string. Then we've got a cool run here, looks like this. Alright, so we've got ninth fret, we're going to slide into the ninth fret. I probably pick both the low E and the A string here, so we're going to slide into the ninth fret of low E. Hammer on 7 to 9 on A. Cluck the seventh fret of D. Back to the A string, pick it, and the seventh fret, cluck it. A quick slide into 11, uh, ninth fret of G to 11, and then 10th fret. So. And then we're gonna do a bend on the 12th fret of B, then walk it up on high E, 10, 11, 12, 11, 10, then 12th fret of G, and that's going to set us up for the final riff. So let's do um, all of that D measure to where we just, the two measures of D to where we just ended. So. Then we've got this riff coming up uh, over the E chord. Let's get just that much. So we're up here, 10th fret of high E. And then we're gonna go to the 11th fret of G with a quick bend and back down. Pull it off to nine and then 11 of D. Uh, nine, 11 on G. Roll it over to the 11th fret of D and then ninth again. And then back to 11 of D, nine to G. So, now we'll do this over the D chord. All right, seven, eight, nine on A. I pick the first two, hammer on the last one, then get ready here on the G and the B string. We've got seventh fret, down to six, eighth fret of A, Stay on the 6th fret of G and B. Move down to the 7th fret of A. Then the 5th fret of G and B. Then slide in 5 to 7 on D. 5th fret again of G and B. Walk it down. 7, 6, 5. And then middle finger here. Slide in from 3 to 4. And then the 3rd fret of the B string. Let's go back just a little ways here. We'll start on this A riff and get in uh, to what we just did. One, two, three. All right, now we're to this last couple measures. And it looks really hard, but anytime you see these open ring, excuse me, open ring, open string riffs, uh, they're a little daunting and they kind of feel like, man, I could never play that. But once you get them under your fingers, they're a lot easier than they look. So here's this last part we just did. All right, but it's really, 
Um, this is kind of one of those guitar tricks, okay? It's not it's not as hard as it looks here. So let's I'm gonna play it really slow, then we'll talk through it, okay? So that's what we just learned here, and then we're gonna go do this. So we just did. All right, so we just did the. Okay, and then we're gonna hammer on to four, open E, cluck it, pick the fourth fret of B, back to three, then fifth fret of G, cluck the D, uh, B string third fret, then we've got this. So we're on fifth fret, slide down to four, pull off to two, then the fourth fret of D, okay, then second fret of G again, pull it off to open, fourth fret of D, open G, then another pull off, 4, 2, open, 3rd fret of A, open D, and then 3, 4 of A, 2nd fret of D, 4th of A, 3rd, pull it off, and then we've got the 3rd fret of the low E string, which is what he ends the solo on. Alright, so that a little more fluidly. And that's the entire solo. So the way I learn a solo like this is I first get my fingers on everything. So that's made a, been made a little bit easier for you guys. You got the tabs, um, you've got the walkthrough that we just did. So once you have your fingers on everything, uh, then our video player goes down to 50% speed and 75% speed. Set it to 50% and see if you can play it all the way through uh, a number of times. Really get it under your fingers. Then a solo like this in, in full tempo is really only about 15, 20 seconds. So. Uh, memorize it if you can. Memorize the solo. That will really help. It will keep you from having to stare at the sheet the whole time. Um, so you're going to memorize the solo at 50%. Then it's just going to be a matter of slowly but surely um, working it up to speed. Well, which just, just takes time. I mean, it's, and don't, anytime you feel yourself reaching a point of diminishing returns, like you feel like you're getting worse, take a break, set it down for a couple hours, maybe come back the next morning. Um, it's going to take probably hours and hours of practice to work this up to full tempo, but man, it's a cool solo, and if you can internalize these riffs, um, it just really adds a lot to our, our kind of toolbox when we're playing in A blues. So anyway, um, our video player lets you go 50 and 75%. For a solo like this, it helps to have a couple other tempos in there, so we'll also throw in an extra jam along track at the end here at 60%, and then one at 90%, and then obviously you got the full speed one that we'll put again at the end um, with the band.